Hi everyone, I'm Noelle and this is my friend Matilda. Turn around Matilda. I'm going to put Matilda right over here. We're hanging out in Matilda's corner and we're going to read a story. I'm leaving her here right now because she's not potty trained. We're going to read a story that I hope Matilda likes. It's called Hedgehog Needs a Hug by Jan Betton. When Hedgehog awoke in his cozy nest, he felt down in the snout and droopy in the prickles. I'll feel better if I get a hug, he thought. Hedgehog poked his nose into the sunshine and toddled toward Rabbit's grassy den. Rabbit, I need a hug. Will you give me one, he asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Rabbit slowly backed away. Um, I have the sniffles. I'm afraid I will give you a cold if I hug you, she said. And hippity-skippity-scram, she was gone. ha choo echoed out of the den. Poor rabbit, thought Hedgehog. Hedgehog wandered across the clearing to the hollow log where Raccoon slept. Raccoon, I need a hug. Will you give me one, he asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Raccoon, Raccoon ducked back into the shadows. Um... I'm afraid I have the most frightful garbage breath. You don't want to come near me, he exclaimed. He scuffle scoot scampered into the dark of his log. I don't mind garbage breath, called Hedgehog, but Raccoon was gone. Where are you going? You should come back on your tray. There you go. Hedgehog trudged over to Turtle's sun-soaked resting spot. Turtle! Oh. Never mind, Hedgehog sighed, and he shuffled away. Hedgehog didn't see anyone else to ask. Was there no one who would hug him? I'm so sorry no one will give you a hug, drawled Fox. Slide, slide, slinking over. I'm not afraid of your spines, little Hedgehog. Hmm. I'll even give you a big kiss. Ow! Hedgehog scurried into the bracken. He shuddered, thinking of Fox's sharp teeth. Where are you going now? Don't worry, there's not really a fox here trying to munch you. And you've got those spines. He was very tired of asking for hugs. Maybe he should just go home. Then Hedgehog heard soft sobs coming from the clearing beyond his bush. What's the matter, Skunk? Hedgehog asked, keeping his distance. No one will give me a hug, and I feel so blue, Skunk said. Hedgehog took a deep breath and tip-patter-patted close to Skunk. I feel blue too, skunk. I will give you a hug. Very gently, Hedgehog gave her a hug. And they both 